Hello again, you lovely people. We are back in the Brecon Beacons, and it's a beautiful day. So we just decided to go on a wild camp, and today we brought my little mate George. Here he is. I think he's more excited than us to go out for a camp, so yeah, looking forward to this one. Just parked up at the Pond Stickick Reservoir just north of Merthyr Tidville, and we're going to do a wild camp up on Kevin uh, Estrad. So stay with us and come and enjoy the adventure with us. Beaming smile, very happy to be out again. George having a little paddle in the water and a little bit of a drink. You thirsty boy? <laughs> and this is a tunnel and above us is the um, Brecon Mountain Railway and the main station is called Pant which is couple of miles behind us so yeah we're gonna go through this a little bit of a tunnel and carry on through Yes Cymru or no Cymru? We'll let you decide. Just having a sit down. Good morning our view. Look at that. Fantastic. George is having a breather as well. Are you George? I'm gonna give him a drink of water now. I've got a bottle of water here. You want a drink of water boy? Mm. You hear that green wood pecker in the background? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm a bit of a ornithologist. He's a bit of a dull on. I'm a bit of a twitch. <laughs> Which, <laughs> yeah, definite green woodpecker. I know my bird sounds. Right, another couple of minutes and we'll press on, I suppose. Taking our time today. Don't judge me. He's part of the family, right? Yeah, so we're following a well-trodden path, which you follow my finger, leads all the way up to a marker pole with a blue flash on the top. So we're using OS maps, these posts, and the trodden path. We've got three ways of navigating us up to this hill, so even us, even we can't go wrong on this one, can we, Mark? You wouldn't have thought so, would you? <laughs> So yeah, it's a pretty easy route to navigate.
Joe's on a cool down. We're not a million miles away from the summit now. Just gonna follow the path and then we get to an inscribed stone. So Simon informs me, then we're gonna turn right. And then, oh, bloody flies. Um, we're gonna head up to the summit. Get to a trade point and that's where we want to camp tonight. So we've got all those views over there. Don't know if you can see that. Our current elevation is five seven zero meters. Only another 47 to go. Summit is 6.7 and that's marked by a trade point so not much further now. We have the trig point in sight, and that's the summit of Kevin uh, Astrid, 6.7 meters, not too far. Right, this is the summit of Kevin uh, Astrid. And this is George's first ever nut haul. Well done, George. <laughs> he did well, didn't he? <laughs> We've just come from the trick point, which is over there. Made our way over here. It comes this big old disused quarry. We're going to take a walk over there and hopefully try and um, put two tents over there somewhere. But the ground is so it's so um, it's so uneven. It's all up and down, and there's not many level flat areas to pitch really so I'm hoping when we get over there we'll find something. I'm walking around and from a distance you think it looks good and then when you get to it <laughs> it's not. <laughs> see if I can turn this camera around now. See down there looks pretty good where the sheep are right but when I get down there it'll probably be um Rubbish. Huh. I'll have a look now. See what this is like. I think this is the best we're going to get tonight. It's not amazing, but I think we can get me and Simon's tents there easy. somewhere so I'll run it by him now when he comes down <laughs> yep this is where we're camping Simon's agreed with me it's not very often he does that it's getting a bit chilly now so I'm gonna lay it up and then get the tents up George is uh, making himself home in my sleeping bag. 
he's whacked out and he's gone to sleep. And uh, there's a bit of snoring going on with him as well. So I think we've um, found a decent spot in the end. Pretty level, pretty flat. Awesome views, which is always a bonus. Here's my setup for tonight. You've seen it all before. Uh, Firm Arrest Neo Air X Firm Trichology Pillow Leviathan Down Bag. Still using that because it's a bit chilly in the nights. And I reckon it's beer o'clock. Look at that, not a bad view out of the tent, is it? I think it's nearly time to get some food on the go. Gonna connect the stove to the gas now, get some water boiled. But I just wanna show you this. This is the um, wide sea wind um, shield I bought. But I found the corners of these were a bit sharp, right? And the last time I took it out. It actually pierced two of my cans in my rucksack, which I was I wasn't best pleased about. So what I've done, I've got an angle grinder. And I've ground down either side just to smooth it off, basically. So hopefully it won't happen again. I just opened the pasty. And he sort of knew the uh, the rest of the packet, and he's just woken up. So I'm gonna have to give him a piece of this. No, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Can't have anything for yourself <laughs> with a dog. Can you, mate? We got to eat, haven't you? Yeah. I'll give you another bit now. All right. <laughs> another thing that my dog likes is these um, dental sticks or dental sticks. Ah, 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 ah. Stay, stay. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? There you go. He loves them. <laughs> you like them, don't you, George? Don't you? you like them? See what else we got here for him. Um, ah, gravy bone. Sit, sit, sit. Po, po. <laughs> sit. There you go. I got to bring him again. He's been good fun actually, and uh, yeah, he's a good dog. You might have seen that other video when uh, I mentioned about my, my Springer Spaniel we had him put down in November. He was 13. That was really sad, but we still got George and he's he's eight now he is. And uh, he's a bit of an handful. Right, no one more. Sit. Pull. Pull. Now he's had a bit of a munch. I think I'll do my food now. God, it's got a bit cold here as well. Mm. Come on, get him. 
Right, what's on tonight's menu? Nice and simple. Dehydrate your pasta bolognese. He's actually sniffing the bag. You've had enough, boy. having his food, I'm having mine, fire pot, spicy pork noodles, haven't had that before, give that a go. I'm not a major fan of noodles but spicy pork sold it on me so yeah, I'll have a, I'll give that a go, see what that's like. It's nice to have the gas on the stove, warm my hands up a bit. So I tell you why, it's a bit chilly. And it's only mid-April, so it's not gonna be too warm. Oh. Quite cold. Water's in there, give it a stir. Zip at the top. Gotta wait 15 minutes now. Stopwatch. 15 minutes. And I'll be ready. While my food is um, rehydrating, put some water on and have a nice Nescafe cafe two in one. Try and warm up a bit. Time is nearly up. 15 minutes. Done. Right. Let's open this. Give it a stir. Right, give this a taste and I'll mark it out of 10. Like I said, not a fan of noodles, but Give that a 7.2. Not bad. Adventure Foods. I'll give it a thumbs up. Really good. Let's pan around. We've got about nine horses here now all together. Clouding over as expected. Um, I think it's forecast rain for the morning. We'll see if it happens. They do get forecast wrong, as we know. George is uh, sniffing something up, but yeah, I don't know what it is. Probably my flapjack. Could be. Please, I'll tell you why, he's such a well behaved dog. You ain't drinking my fire water. Yeah, it's good. Ah, I love him a bit. I'm talking about you, George. George, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Where's he going on? Don't puncture my air mattress, George. <laughs> Right. Check this dog out. He's come in my tent. He's sucking my sleeping bag. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. Look at him. He don't know what day it is. 
George. You burst my mat, there's going to be hell to pay you. He won't chew the bag, he's just like... I don't know. He, he just sucks it. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Mad. Yeah, so we're enjoying the night now, and uh, we'll bring you back if anything exciting happens. And he's chewing my sleeping bag again. Is he? Yeah, have a look. Let's have a look. You chewing the sleeping bag again? What the hell? <laughs> That'd be he's nuts, man. This town's going to be full of feathers, isn't it? Right then, me, Simon and George are going to turn in now, get our heads down, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Me, Simon and George are awake. I think it's about quarter to seven. Can you hear that? Yeah, we got some rain. It's only light though. Let's take a look outside. It's only spits and spots. This was George's second wild camp, and um, to be honest, I think he's really enjoyed it. Well, I'll definitely bring him up again. He slept here next to me. I put my down um, jacket over him, it's like a quilt. And then we just snuggled in and we had a cracking nice thing, didn't we, boy? I think he was really warm and comfortable, so he was happy. He won't leave my side, he'll just he'll be in here, just lie right next to me, he, won't, he just won't move all night. No, he's, he's been really good, haven't you? Yeah, I'll definitely bring him again. So we've got the water boiling, I'm going to have uh, something different this time. A Costa... I'll show you some Cappuccino. So yeah, this is boiled, we're going to have a nice blue now. And then think about packing up. It's been a good one again. Nice, sir. trace left as usual just want to say thanks for watching from me Simon and George say bye George if bye you, bye if you bring it back next time bye bye do you want to come next time camping yeah why not <laughs> alright then thanks for watching see you on the next one bye for now